Hi, Koji here. I'm gonna try something different today. Um, I'm gonna talk about something different. How uh, end of the year, uh, like Christmas and New Year's, is like for Koreans. Uh, how how the culture is here. It's a it's a bit different uh, than what you would expect. Now, first of all, uh, end of the end of the year is a uh, time when all the people like uh, have like gatherings you know like uh, let's say high school friends uh, people from I don't know army you know who serve together or or you know different types of groups college groups uh, friends from high uh, uh, I don't know just uh, from your work you know uh, they call it like uh, or which means like uh, like end of the year or letting the year go party type of a thing so they have that like all throughout the, uh, December so it's you know it's a it's pretty taxing if you have to meet all these people and you got what you have to also have to remember is that like if you live in the United States right unless you go back to your hometown you're not gonna you know you, you just don't meet that many people and even if you do not all your high school friends gonna be there right um but because you know uh in place like for example in the united states is a huge country so you know it's like all the people you used to know in different stages of your life they're all over the place but you gotta remember crazy it's a tiny little place and half of it north korea is eh, you know it's the you can't really go there you don't know anybody there so we just have to look at south korea it's a tiny little place so basically for example if you live in seoul it doesn't matter which part of Korea you came from. You're probably going to have uh, friends from like your middle school, high school, uh, college days, uh, your first job. I don't know. And it, there are so many groups and there used to be. There, be. there are less now, but they all feel like, you know, they should at least get together once a year, end of the year. So it's crazy, crazy time of year. A lot of drinking, a lot of meeting. Now, because of the uh, the you know pandemic and the state of uh, economy and everything, people do not uh, meet each other as often, as much. But uh, it's still there. So there's there are a lot of gatherings and drinking and eating and all that stuff at the end of the year. Now the reason I talk and that's the kind of feeling during this time and the thing is uh, there are a lot of christians in korea so let's start with christmas now the christmas time like any other place uh, as you would expect uh you're gonna have lights uh ornaments christmas trees you know santa everywhere type of a thing now for christians uh it's more of a religious time not uh not a f you know like christmas is very family uh oriented uh thing in the west right like christmas you, you get together with your family and and you know santa brings you know presents and stuff now that is you know that is there but it is either religious thing for uh christians and some catholics uh, and catholics obviously but uh for average people it it, uh, it really doesn't have that christmasy christmas thing you know uh, it, it 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 comes at you different it has become uh an like a a night for a special day for couples especially you know young people you know boyfriends girlfriends type of a deal um i don't know where they came from 
I don't know how it came to be. Uh, but uh, it's like it's a day when a boyfriend and girlfriend have to meet. Not a family thing. But and like. Uh, I don't know. And do the hanky panky thingy. <laughs> you know. That's. That has be, that's such a big thing, you know. I have to go to a fancy place and have a dinner and and go spend the night together, type of a deal, you know. Get a, one of those like motels, hotels, if you know, whatever. So during this time, uh, it's almost impossible to get get a place, you know. So it's a I don't know why it has kind of became like this. Uh, not everyone, but it, it's a big, huge thing in, in Korea. So, but it, it's comparable, comparable to uh, Japan in that way. Uh, in Japan's case, this is, there are no Christians. I think it's like 1% or a few percent uh, of uh, Japanese um, are Christians and Catholics, right? So there are very few who are uh, religious, but Christmas is huge in Japan. But it is the day of, you know, boys and girls giving each other presents and having fun. And, you know, yeah, it, it, <laughs> I don't know why that came to be, uh, but uh, that's what it is. And also in Japan, it's... Uh, it's a day when you eat a bucket of uh, KFC. I'm not kidding you. If you don't trust me, uh, do a Google search. In Japan, you're supposed to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken on Christmas. I thought, when I first found out, I thought it was a joke too. But uh, it ain't. Uh, it was a marketing ploy. You know, because I think it's because Kentucky Fried Chicken Fried chicken has you know, like red stripes and stuff, and perhaps the uh, Colonel Sanders have a little bit of resemblance to Santa. But then, hey, uh, that's uh, that's what it is in Japan, and perhaps some of that has, you know, Korea has been uh, influenced by Japan a lot. So I'm thinking this is just me thinking. Maybe uh, some of that just rubbed off. But uh, yeah, that's the part I I just don't I don't know kind of detracts from Korean Christmas. Now, yeah, I know. But, hey, uh, if you guys know, you know, I mean, a lot of it is, a lot of the things in Christmas and many other days, uh, which is supposed to be holy, but uh, have been, I don't know, should I say infiltrated by uh, commercial, you know, commercialism uh like you know the santa that we know you know the red everything you know red suit who wears a red suit it it, it came from you know coca-cola and and all, all the stories and you know a lot of it not the real true christmas thing but a lot of the things that we consider as christmas thing is from uh like a lot of uh commercials and media and it was marketing uh, tools that has somehow gotten in so deeply that it became just part of us but anyway so yeah that's how what Christmas is so you know real Christians or Catholics you know for example my mother you know she goes to the mass uh, on Christmas Eve, things like that. I mean, that's more Western, but uh, for just the average normal, you know, young Korean boys and girls, it's it's a day of like a hangout and partying type of thing. Anyway, that's a little depressing. And secondly, let's uh, look at now. What is this? Now, this is the uh, it's in the center of Seoul. Uh, Jongno. Um, 
what they do is in the as the uh they do a countdown and you know they don't drop the apple or nothing what they do is they ring this huge bell uh it has a, like a it's uh it's like sounding in the new year um yeah and the, the mayor and you know all these people come and they they hit this huge bell in the, the the bell tower is in the right in the center city center and all the people gather and you know and just i don't know uh wish the happy new year thing and also what other uh, also what people do is um in korea is um yeah they go to see the sunrise uh they drive to the east eastern seaboard of korea so that's where the the so-called new year's sun uh, would rise and like there and all these people go there and drive there and sit beside you know the ocean the eastern sea looking forward and and hope uh for a nice day so they can witness the the new sun come up yeah and this is uh this is a place one of the places that, that is famous for what was the name of this place uh hmm. god uh anyway the important thing is they have I don't, it, not that long ago but they built this thing with the you know huge sculpture with hand in the middle of the sea and this is where people one of the places people like to go see the uh, sunrise so now which is kind of cool which is cool you know it's, it's the new year's thing but it is new year's but not really it's like another day for most people to um have fun and get drunk and party type of a deal yeah korean people likes to party um no and it, it has a lot to do with the uh uh young people and boyfriends and girlfriend thing again here like christmas in some ways uh, because most koreans uh do not really really consider that this as a, as the new year they they consider it as a, like um you know like a half or quarter of new year now because we get one day off on you know the january the 1st uh but it's more for like i don't know more like uh like having fun or something like you know driving to the east coast and or like going out to you know hear this thing and then uh drink a little or party or you know the boyfriends and girlfriends they you know they feel like they have to uh you know uh spend the, that moment when the, when the when the new year comes or whatever i mean it, it's like an event thing because basically the real new year is uh it's you know the uh so called the uh uh what you would call Chinese New Year or Asian New Year or yeah the Luna New Year would be the uh correct uh way of putting it. Now Luna New Year's uh, is a couple months probably in Feb February right now. And then you know time changes because you know the Luna calendar and yeah, is different but anyway it's like a month and a half a month a couple months away so what does that mean well that's the real day when all the family get together even extended family you get to see your uh grandparents and your your cousins and you know just like whole patriarchy and the, you know that all the people related 
would come together and have like chesa you know like the uh uh we have a thing for not chesa you do chare but basically it's the same thing it's like giving thanks uh to the ancestors yeah and we all gather and eat traditional food and play traditional games and and we would drive like forever and i think like you have like three days off or something two three days off so it's like a long long weekend uh so we what you guys you know the where like a, it's like a christmas plus you know that sense of family thing and coming together and sharing time with your you know family and celebrating celebrating the new year and that that thing is actually the, the uh uh the lunar new year so it used to be you know by law in korea a long time ago they made it so that the government said let's get rid of the uh lunar new year and because it's you know it's modern times we should go with the uh the only the new year uh, that for for a little while and people hated it. I mean, it's like, hey, man, I mean, well, you can't even let us, um, you know, we, we should kill our culture or our tradition. And so at this point in time, how it is now is yeah, New Year's Day is like for like lovers or, you know, just people drinking beer and just hanging out or, um, you know, going to see this, you know, the, you know, the sunrise or, yeah, so it doesn't, it, yeah, it's, it, it kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's watered down a little bit because of that. Anyway, so that is how it feels to uh, see the uh, end of the year events in Korea as a foreigner. Um. You know, I, I'm in it. For example, uh, in my family, um, we just decided to do the New Year's thing on New Year's Day, tomorrow. So uh, today, and you know, I'll I'll be with my you know mother and my I get to see my sister and my you know my uh, nephews and and we'll be all together, have tteokguk and all that stuff, and leave. The, and not do it on um, the Lunar New Year. That's just our style. And many people do do that because uh, it would open up uh, some time for uh, families to go on like uh, more extended trips to somewhere, for example, you know, get, go to go on a vacation or something like that. So it all depends on the family. And But the more traditional families, uh, they mostly do it on uh, the uh, Lunar New Year. Anyway, so uh, I just thought uh, some of you guys would be uh, interested because it does feel different. And I do miss um, the uh, so-called Western <laughs> end of the year events because Christmas, uh, you know, has seemed to, it's more about family and, you know, all the all the movies and carols, you know, it, it just have that more homey uh, uh, feel about the Christmas in the West. It used to be at least. And the New Year's too, you know, it's just a, uh, you know, New Year's party and you, know, you get to see the, uh, we do the countdown and all that stuff. Um, yeah. But because there's only one New Year. <laughs> but in Korea there are two so anyway so that's how it is in Korea so end of the year is uh, it's pretty costly for most Koreans uh, especially young dudes uh, a lot of a uh, lot of gatherings a lot of drinking a lot of presents you have to prepare a lot of events for your girlfriend um and perhaps a trip to see the, the sunrise. I mean, it's, it's pretty hectic, man. Anyway, 
so uh i'm not saying uh, i hope you guys don't take it as a uh, uh anything negative about korean culture uh it, it just uh how the reality is a little different here the perception is a little different and uh um yeah and i thought uh, perhaps this might uh give you guys a better understanding of what it's what it feels like uh to have the end of the year thing uh and live through this thing in korea yeah because it's it becomes really busy uh, a lot of meetings a lot of gatherings and uh, i don't drink uh that much anymore but it used to be oh man it just oof. anyway thank you very much uh i'll see you guys next time bye bye